When building an app, you'll sometimes need a database that's more flexible than SQL. Or you might want a data store that offers real-time updates. In both cases, Firestore is here to help. Firestore is Firebase's flexible, scalable, NoSQL database for mobile, web, and server development. Pieces of raw data stored in Firestore are nodes called documents. Documents themselves can contain a group of documents called a collection. The location for data stored in Firestore is based on the collection, document, collection, path hierarchy. It's collections and documents all the way down. You can write to and query both collections and documents. To write to Firestore, start by defining the correct path to the data's location in Firestore. Next, define a reference to a collection. Then, create a new document and tell Firestore instance to add the document to the collection at the specified path. To query the Firestore instance, again, start by defining the path to where the data lives. Then call get on the Firestore instance for a document. You can also call get on a collection and it'll return a list of the collection's documents. When querying collections, you can add query modifiers like where and sort. Better yet, you can combine Firebase's stream-based querying API with Flutter's reactive UI paradigm for real-time updates so that you don't have to manage it with your own code. In your Flutter code, define a stream builder and give it a Firestore query as its stream. Snapshots is a method that returns the stream. The stream updates with new data anytime the collection or document is updated in Firestore. In the builder method, return a widget that displays the data. Now, whenever there are updates to the Firestore collection, Flutter will automatically re-render with the latest data in real time. Flutter and Firestore were made for each other, like pineapple on pizza. To learn more about what Firestore can do for you, visit firebase.google.com.